Hello, dear learner. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a navigation in slide navigation, a roadmap for Hello, dear learner. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do an in slide navigation. It's sometimes called a roadmap. It's sometimes called an in slide agenda, essentially having your table of contents or your agenda on every single slide. So people always know where they've been, where they are and where they're going. Previous videos, I did it for PowerPoint. This is dedicated to Keynote for all my Keynote friends. Just like with PowerPoint, the secret is in using the master, the slide master that is. In Keynote, here's what you gotta do. Go over to the view section way up there in the corner, click down and click on edit slide masters. If you want more background on the slide masters, just watch the PowerPoint videos. But essentially, this is your template. This is the template for every single slide. The big difference between Keynote and PowerPoint is PowerPoint has a big one, like a, a big slide here. And if you do anything to that big slide, it affects all the other templates, all the other layouts within this one template. The thing that's a little tougher here in Keynote is you have to do it to every slide manually. So here's what I mean. Let's take this one, title and photo. There's a photo on the side and there's a thing. And let's say I decided to put a shape and let's just make a circle like this. Oops. I'm going to make a shape circle. There we go. Whoops. Sorry. Didn't see it there. So let's just say I'm going to take a shape. I'm going to go here. I'm going to go circle and I'm going to put it, whoops, there she is over here and let's make it pink. So it pops. I put it here. If I go to view exit slide master, you will see that that little thing is only in that one little template in that one layout. This was the title site. Remember this picture. Remember this picture. Look, we go to view edit slide master. Boom. It's on this picture. You see view exit slide master, but it's not anywhere else. So suppose I go back to my slide master and I take this little bad boy. Okay. And I manually put it in. Oops. I manually put it into every single slide. So here I go. Command C control C if you're using keynote on a PC and I go like this on all of them. I am in the master right now. I'm in the template right now. So that means every time, I make a new slide with this layout where this little pink thing is. See this 100, look, see it's on 100, this 100. We'll do that one as an example when we finish. Every time I make a new slide using this template, that little dot will appear. So when I go to view, exit slide master, boom, it's everywhere. Now let's go back to here. I'm gonna add a slide. Remember this 100 one? Look, the dots there, the dots in all of these. Let's go back to this bad boy here. This one with a salad. We'll go to add slide. Let's find where's that salad slide. Salad slide. Boom. It has the little dot there. So the way we work with the slide master is we add our in slide navigation into the master and that affects everything else. So let's, oh, we're in the master. Sorry. So here we are. So now let's pretend I'm going to go and add this little dot to every single thing. Actually, let's remove the dots. Boom, they're all gone. You can use a line. Actually, let's do a line just for funsies. In the previous videos, I showed you boxes and circles, but let's do a, a little line here at the bottom. Where is it? Take this little line here. Let me delete that line. And I'm gonna run it across the bottom like this. Okay? Now listen, you can use circles, you can use lines, you can use whatever you want, okay? What ever you want. Okay. Now, because I'm in the master, see, I'm in the master, it says exit slide master. So that means I'm in the master. This is kind of my main one, I'm going to take this one little black box, okay. And I'm going to copy it. But before I do that, let's suppose I want to make, let's say our background, I'm going to capitalize it. 
background. Let's say environment. Oh, let's say environment for our competitive environment, just for fun. Let's say financials. Let's do timeline. Now, because I'm doing this as a line, I'm going to go tab, tab, tab to spread them out. Tab, tab, tab. Tab, tab, tab. Again, if you use boxes, and I'll do another one with boxes just for funsies. I'm going to do this one across the top. I can also just do individual little boxes like this. Here's what I'm going to do. You see, I've made a bunch of them. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to take one of them and I'm going to go all the way to the extreme up here. Boom. Now I'm going to select all of them and we are going to distribute them. So arrange, let's distribute horizontally. Boom. Hey, and we'll distribute vertically. And then let's align them to the top. Boom. One, two, three, four. Let's say for these ones up here, I'm going to say background. Let's just do BG for background. Let's do EV for environment. Let's do FI for financials. Let's do timeline, TM. And then let's just make a, let's say conclusion, CL. And let's just delete that one. So I'm going to select, take CL now. I'm going to go all the way to the side. Select them all. Let's distribute horizontally so it's nice and even. And just, just to make fun, boom, align. Now, they are all in this one template. Notice that it goes over the pictures. This is why it's a good idea to do the template at the beginning because otherwise, if I do it all at the end, sometimes it's going to make it look really unprofessional if there's some picture that's kind of like, like that behind it. So I can adjust it if I want to and then make it look pretty. Now, this is the thing. If we were in PowerPoint, you could do this all on the master master slide and all the other templates would have it. But because we are in Keynote, we have to do this manually, but it's not that much harder. I'm just going to select all these. Remember, you wouldn't have the top and the bottom. I'm just doing these as two separate examples. I'm going to say, let's definitely put it on this bad boy. Definitely this bad boy because they've been bad. Notice if I put it on this one, it's going to mess up. It's going to be behind the thing. So I'd have to adjust the pictures, but whatever. Boom. Section title. And you can make these whatever colors you want. Okay. Notice with this one, how it doesn't really fit. This is why I'd have to adjust the pictures. I'm not even going to bother using that one because I don't want to bother adjusting everything. Oh, what the hey, boom adjustments. So I would probably go like this and adjust the picture because if I decided to use this template so that it's not in the way, or I would make it like this. So it's the whole picture, but that's not the reason we're here. You can do that on your own, dear friends. So there we are. We are in the master and I've added this to every single slide. Okay. So if I was going to exit master, boom, this is my presentation. You see how no matter what slide I'm in, these will always be there. And if I decide to make new slides, they are in all the new slides. So let's suppose I added this one. Boom. Where is she? Boom. Suppose I added this guy. I deleted it. It's in the front of the picture. You can see it here. Boom. It's there. It's there. I add uh, this guy. I add this guy. Boom. See? It's in all of them. But do you see here how like the, it's kind of like blocking up? This is why you have to adjust, put these in first. So you can kind of, when you're making your slides, adjust them or remove them so that you always have them. Now, how are we going to balance and make a little highlight? So every time we go to a new slide or every time we're in a new section, this will change. This is a little manual. First, let me work on the one at the bottom. I'm going to edit slide master. And we're just going to work on this bottom one. What I'm going to do, and this is the manual part, so it's semi-automatic. First, let's make this a whole other color of beautiful. Let's make this pink so it pops. Pink and popping. Boom. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to line this up. There we go. That's about right. 
and I'm going to go like this to cover it up. And then I'm going to say background. Boom. Command, whoops. There we go. And I'm going to copy it. Okay, I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to exit the slide master. Let's say the first seven slides will be this. If I just paste, boom, there it is. It's pasted in. That paste location is saved. So every time I push paste, boom. New slide, new slide, all the way to number seven. Now let's suppose number eight is where our new section begins. I'm gonna V, but this time I'm just manually gonna move it over. What was this one called? Environment. So now let's say environment. Now I'm gonna copy it again. Because now when I paste, it's going to save environment and the location that environment is in. Now we're going to move it over because this is, let's suppose that pink slide is going to be the new section. What was this one again? Financials? Let's call it financials. There we are. Command C, Control C. If you're using Keynote on a PC, made a rhyme. Boom. Boom. We don't see it on that. It is there. It's just behind it. See? Boom. Boom. And let's say the timeline is these last four slides. Boom. And then I'm going to copy it. Copy. Paste. Where'd you come from? Oh, I know where that came from. Let me show you all something. That's actually really lucky that we had that there. Check this out. So you see here, this was background, because that's where I made it in the template. I made it in this layout. Notice, I can't touch this. I can't touch this, just in the same way that I can't affect any of these, because that is in the layout. So if I go to Edit Slide Master, I'm going to delete that. Remember, it's in this layout. I'm going to close the slide master. There she is. Now, if we run our presentation, we're in the background section. We're in the background section, going through different slides in the background section. Oh, look at that. We're in the environment section. Oh, now we're in financial section. And now we're in timeline section. And that's as easy as it is. It's a little manual, but it does give your presentation a bit more of a polished consulting look. The same thing applies if we want to do it to the things on top. So I'm going to go edit master. I'm going to select this guy first. Okay. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it. So now I have this extra version. What, what do you think? Let's make it orange. Okay. There we go. See, there it is. It's orange and it's perfectly copied. I'm going to take it. I'm going to exit master. I'm going to go back to the top slide. I'm going to V. Boom. It saved the location. I'm going to go to the next one. V. Boom. Ba -dang, -a dang Bang. Boom. Bang. Now it's time to switch over to the next section, the environment section. You know, just for fun. Why not make it a different color? I mean, be free, baby. Be free. You can see lots of examples of this in my previous videos where I showed you before I start the tutorial. I actually show you all the different slides that I found on SlideShare where you, people have different formats. It can be numbers. It can be letters. It can be on the side. It can be circles. It can be lines. It can be squares. It can be essentially whatever you want it to be. Boom. Let's make it red. And I think you're getting the point. So after I do this part, oops, we don't have it on that one. See, we got to adjust this picture so it doesn't get in the way or we send it to the back. But I'm just going to delete it. Boom. 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 
And let's just end it there so you get it, so you get the point. Here I am. Notice I cannot mess with any of these ones here, but I can select that one because the other ones are in the template. So now I'm going to run the presentation. And now this time, just look on top, everyone. Just look on top. It's the same thing that's happening. Boom. And that is how you make an in-slide agenda, in-slide navigation. Sometimes it's called a roadmap. Whatever the name may be, that is how you do it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Clarifications, please post below. And I'm happy to make another video to explain any details. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the video. My name is Yvonne. You know, public speaking, presenting, it's literally all I do. This is my website, publicspeakinglab.com. If you want to reach out to me, go to my website, send me a message, or this is my Instagram and this is my LinkedIn. Reach out to me if you have questions about in-slide agendas or just public speaking or presenting in general. I have an open door policy and I'd love to hear from you. So write me, watch the video many, many times, many happy hours of viewing. Thank you very much. Thanks again for watching the video and reach out anytime.